Africa and welcome to Just Me TV magazine. I'm Veronica and on today's show we have one of Nigeria's hip hop stars. His name is Indo. Oga Indo. How far, man? What's I going do, on? I do. Man? <laughs> <laughs> so, man. Welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. Man. Great stuff. Yeah. So, um, as we know that you are a hip hop artist, mm -hmm. all the way from Nigeria. Yeah. Okay. So, you're from Africa, obviously. That's so, I'd like to test your knowledge on how well you know your Africa. Okay. All right. So, can you tell me five African countries? Just name them. Okay. Um, there's, there's Ivory Coast, mm -hmm. that's Cote d'Ivoire, there's South Africa. There's Togo, there's Ghana, and um, there's Tanzania. Oh, fabulous. Uh, Indeed. I could go <laughs> on if you want me to. Really? I can see. You know you're Africa. <laughs> All right. So tell me, who is Indo? Your full name and well, where you're from? Okay. Just for Africa to know. Okay, well, um, Indo is um, a Nigerian. He was born in, in the late 80s, and my real name is Indo BC Jude OKK. And I'm from the eastern part of Nigeria, mm -hmm. and I was born into a family of five. I have three sisters and a brother, and that's basically my family background. Mm. Yeah. All right. And how was it as a kid growing up? Hey, it was it was really tough growing up in Lagos. I guess that's why we we actually were able to make it this far in life. Because growing up in Nigeria is like a very very big challenge. You know, there's really no. Um, how do I put it? That that background, that basic facility for you to, to grow up luxuriously wasn't there for us. We actually had to do most of the things for ourselves, you know, growing up in Lagos. It was really hard though, but here we are today, we made it. Mm, 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 mm. Uh -huh. Okay, that's very interesting. Um, so would you say that um, you've always wanted to be a hip hop artist? Well, <laughs> I guess so, because I've been into music most of, <laughs> I can remember in my life, you know. Mm. Growing up in high school, I was, I, I used to enter hip hop co contest. Oh, really? I schooled in um, Hope Bay College in Lagos. And I was, I, I was always coming out tops in, in rap competitions, in mm. rap battles. But I didn't know I was going to take it this far until I got here to South Africa. Mm. And met a couple of people who actually were like, dude, man, you have this in you. Why not just pursue a career in it? And that's what I'm doing and it's really working out, you know. Mm. Okay. And when did you arrive in South Africa? Well, I schooled school? here, though. Okay. But yeah, I, I went to Monash University for a while, then I switched to um, City Varsity, where I did sound engineering mm -hmm. as well. So I've been here for about two years now, schooling. Mm. And we have a label now in um, uh, Melville. It's, it's based in Melville. It's called CMG. Mm. Yeah, so we're fully into music now we're ready oh interesting exactly. so you're going all the way yeah all the way taking it to the next level taking mm, over mm, it's time mm. to take over mm, mm. you know that's what we're about to do now with my single like you, you've been asking about africa and all that my first single sexy i did with a couple of other african artists okay i, I collaborated with people from botswana tanzania and south africans oh okay yeah that's that's the people that were in production and I featured an artist called Vizo mm -hmm. and Shag. Vizo is from Botswana and Shag is South African. And I'm um, the producer is from Tanzania. Oh. So that's how diverse we're trying to be like link up African countries together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Through hip hop. Alright, um very interesting. I was actually about to ask you that question. Yeah. Since you've um touched on it, I'd like to know um you've mentioned those you've collaborated with. Yeah. I'd like to know those you'd like to collaborate with. Mm nobody really for that Not that i'm trying to be selfish but um if i'll be opportune to work with the likes of two-face because he's he's basically one of the people i respect most in in nigerian music mm. i'd like to do a song with two-face um maybe ice prince you know mm. he's also a dope rapper so i'd like to work with him as well okay and um did your parents approve of your decision you know wanting to be a hip-hop Start. I grew up in a Catholic family, so my father wouldn't want to see me rapping on TV. You know, he he actually preferred if I was a lawyer, but I guess he he's now starting to realize that this is my calling. You know, this is what I want to do, and he heard a couple of my songs and he likes it. Mm. You see, so he's actually approved of it now, oh. and I have their full support. Mm. And yeah. how does that make you feel? Have I feel you? good, man. I feel like a superstar. Hi, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out yeah, to Daddy. Yeah. All the way in Nigeria? <laughs> exactly, he's in Nigeria. All right. Yeah. What made you decide to be a hip-hop artist? What inspired you? 
I can rap. You can rap. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, I, I believe uh, I, I can actually pass a message through music, yeah. send a message to a whole lot of people, mm -mm. the whole world. Mm -mm. I can actually make an impact yeah. with my music to the whole world. Mm -mm. That's, that's one of the main things that motivated me to do music, mm -mm. reaching out to the people mm -mm. with my music. Yeah. And you always knew that, you know what, I'm doing hip-hop. You exactly. never thought of venturing into maybe other genres or... Well, um, I'm diverse. Mm. I, I We actually did a, a house music. Oh. Yeah, I was actually singing on a house beat. And it was really fresh. You should hear it. Interesting. Exactly. I will. It was definitely... We're, we're diverse like that. But but I'm not an R&B singer, but I can actually venture can into... Happen. Nah. <laughs> 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 Anyway, but I think hip hop is just basically what I want to do for now. Mm, mm, mm. Let's music. For now. Yeah. Well, Africa, you have heard it from Indo himself. Right about now, let's take a short break and we will see you after this. right now then you don't belong on planet earth and if you're watching me right now and you think of taking me off your screen ah, ha, 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 your tv will blow and your remote will explode okay just kidding if you know you do not want your children to look like me okay well, really, i actually am a good kid well whatever if you don't want this hair on my hair to grow under your armpits you better stick with just me tv magazine yes i'm imploring you okay i'm begging you please please watch me pause it guys this is dj monotone and you tuned to just me tv magazine trick it trick it Welcome back. All right. So um, let's go on to the next question. What were the challenges that you faced in the industry? Wow, we're still facing it, man. Cut blocking. When they, when they find out that you're actually very, very good and you might actually take away food from the next artist, they, they cut block you. They don't, they don't play your music as much as they should, you know, but we're actually overcoming it. As the, the more you make impact in the industry, the more it actually dies down that's that's mostly it that's mm. mostly the problem yeah. you make music there's no avenue to put it out there mm. that's that's what the industry should work on mm. try and and play um upcoming artists more often give them the opportunity to to express themselves mm -hmm. you know because mostly what we see on tv is ready-made artists mm. and there are a lot of raw talents out there that are actually dying to get their stuff played on tv but they refuse that was that in fact that's the most challenging factor for any upcoming artist mm. so i just wish everybody well you know mm. and tell me what is a typical day for you a typical day yeah studio 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 24 7. studio with my producer Miji. Mm. yeah 
and the entire CMG crew. That's what we do every day. Mm. Studio morning to night. Just trying to make music for you all to dance to, you know? Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So what is your ultimate party destination? Here in South Africa or in Lagos? Sky's the limit. You can choose both. Okay, well, South Africa is funny. I like to party at Hush. Oh, okay. Yeah. Am I supposed to say that? You can okay, Hush, definitely. Hush is a cool place to party. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because there are a lot of Nigerians partying there, so it feels like home. Yeah. You know, it's, it's it's a very very lovely place. That's where I like to go clubbing. And in Nigeria? Um. In Nigeria, hey, there are a couple of cool places, man. Well, I just like to go to a place called A Bar. It's, it's a quiet bar. I like to chill there with a couple of friends. Mm. That's what I like to do. Yeah. <laughs> All right, that's interesting, and um. Have you played in other countries? Yeah. You know, outside. I've played in in Cote d'Ivoire. Oh, okay. Yeah, I played in Cote d'Ivoire. I played in um, Ghana. Mm. And I played here in South Africa as well. Yeah. And a couple of shows will be coming up in Botswana. So Botswana, expect me. I'll be coming to storm your country. Mm. Um, Tanzania as well. Expect money box coming through with the entire CMG crew, man. It's gonna be wild. <laughs> you know. He said it. It's going to be wild, trust me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So then, um, which international hip-hop artist would you say you respect? My mentor. Well, <laughs> a couple of other people's mentor as well. Jay-Z. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I respect him a lot. Mm -hmm. like, um, he's actually going, he's, he's, I want to go his direction. I want to do hip-hop as a business. I don't want to do hip-hop as a rapper. Mm. I want to do it corporately. Mm. You know, not the gangster way of hip hop, no, but the business way of hip hop. Mm. I just want to make money off music. Yeah. Exactly, and entertain the people as well. Mm. So that's what Jiga is doing, and I want to be like that mm -hmm. in Africa. Okay. All right. So Jay Z is the favorite international mm -hmm. hip hop artist. Yeah. Let's bring it down to Africa. Who's your favorite in well, Africa hip hop artist? Well, per se, um, not an artist. I wouldn't call him an artist. I'll say right. Don Jazzy for okay. what he has achieved so far. Yeah. And um, what he has made of the branch being um, one of the biggest artists in Africa, you know. Yeah. It was courtesy of Don Jazzy. And I would like to, to achieve that, those kind of things as well. So I'm looking up to people like that mm -hmm. in the industry. Mm. Don Jazzy, mm. he's, he's, a, he's a good role model. Yeah, in Africa. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And what would you say it means to be a hip hop artist? What does it mean? Well, it, it means different things to a couple of people, mm. you know. To me, it means um, it's 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 a way of life to mm, me. Mm. You see, it's it's a way of life. Like I told you, I'm trying to make it corporate. I'm trying to to live that hip hop life, and um, I'm trying to use it the best possible way I can. I'm trying to send out positive messages. Trying to work with a lot of Africans. Trying to bring Africans together as much as I can. Mm. That's what hip hop is all about to me. Mm. Bringing people together with that way of life called hip hop. Mm. That's that's what we're about in CMG. Mm. Would you say that you also, you know, you share you share your own personal experiences through hip hop? Yeah, exactly. Mm. It's it's life. Hip hop is life mm. to me. So it's it's my everyday life. It's 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 my life story. It tells a lot about me, even in my lyrics, even the unserious songs and the very serious songs. Mm. It exhibits who you are. Mm. That's that's hip hop. Okay. And what are the perks of being a hip-hop artist? Well, um... You know, the challenges you face. Yeah, I know. I don't think there's really any. Mm. I don't think there's really any these days. If it was two, two, three years ago, it would have been very, very difficult to actually associate with the kind of people you associate with now as, as a hip-hop artist. Because back in the days, nobody believed that hip-hop would take you anywhere. You know, everybody saw hip hop artists as irresponsible people. Mm -hmm. But thanks be to God, these days, people, a, lot of, a couple of artists are actually sending out positive messages, touching the life of a couple of people. So it's been accepted now. So there's really no negative challenge facing hip hop. Mm. It's just achieving what you want to achieve with hip hop. Mm. That's what matters now. Otherwise, there's no negative challenges facing it. Because okay. it's been accepted in Africa. Exactly. Mm. You know, I'm wondering, mm -hmm. what kind of a kid were you growing up? Because looking at you right now, you seem to be all cool and collected yeah. and, you know, 
Well, I'm the last of five children, so I'll say I was spoiled growing up. You okay. Because everybody used to do everything for me. I was my mama's handbag until I was about. I was I was I was mommy's boy till I was thirteen till I became a teenager, and I started doing a couple of things for myself by myself, you know, because growing up in Lagos, you need to look out for yourself. Mm. Trust me. So, I'd say my childhood, my childhood was very very. I was I was really spoiled growing up as a child, but being a man, um, I think mm. I I wouldn't say I'm a gangster, but I'll say I'm I'm a hardworking person. Mm. Exactly, and that yeah. rigid and. Tough, mm. but I'm sweet though. Yeah, are you? <laughs> <laughs> well, there you have it, Africa. We will hear more and more about Indo right after the break. What's up, Africa? It's your boy D Black, aka the Ghana Boy, straight out of West Africa, and you're watching Just Me TV. Keep it locked, don't go nowhere. Salute. What's up? This is Habida, and you are watching Just Me Magazine TV. What up, y'all? It's your boy Lynx, aka Mr. Change Your Parade, all the way from Lagos, Nigeria. And right now, you're watching Just Me TV. Boom. Keep watching. Welcome back. Let's get back to it. All right, Indo. Yeah. So, um, who is your role model? My role model. Hey, that's a huge one, man. Role model. Role model is the one I'm looking up to, right? I, yes. Uh, I mentioned him earlier. I think it's G guy. It's still Jay Z, man. Yeah. I want to be like him. Uh huh. All right. So, um, do you see yourself as a role model? Well, um, every hip hop artist should be a role model to to one person or the other. Uh -huh. So I see myself as a role model because. There's a couple of MCs behind me in CMG like that are trying to actually come out as well. So I need to live up to expectation, you know. I need to live a positive life and try and be as positive as I can mm. so that they can actually learn from there. So I see myself as a role model. Mm. I think I'm a role model. Yeah. In fact, I'm a role model. You are a role model. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, do you have any hidden talents? This I'd like to know. You wouldn't believe it if I tell and you. I'm sure Africa would like to know. Hey, Africa, man. I'm a very, <laughs> very good soccer player. You wow. can ask around, man. Yeah. I play number eight on the pitch. Can you see my size, my big deal? <laughs> uh, I play soccer very well. I'm a really? very good soccer player here. Uh -huh. It's really, really hard to believe, but I am. That's, mm. that's another talent I have. Wow. Okay. And have you ever thought of maybe pursuing that? Nah. Hip hop is your thing. Hip hop is my thing. Yeah. <laughs> so it's just an extramural sport. Yeah, I, I do, do that a couple of evenings in the week, is and it? I do it very well. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, that's interesting. Um, what is your favorite song? My favorite song. I don't have a favorite song, but I think I really like "I'll Stay with You" by John Legend. Oh, okay. That's a beautiful song. I could I could listen to that song all my life. Mm, is there perhaps a meaning behind that song? Why it's your favorite? <laughs> <laughs> well, that was the first love song I ever sang to Ooh, a girl. Love song. <laughs> that was the first love song I ever sang to a girl. But it's a beautiful song. Though. You should girl. go listen to it again. Is it? Okay, no names mentioned since mm. we are there. <laughs> nah. Would you say that you do have a girlfriend? <laughs> well. Um, not at the moment per se, but I'm seeing someone though. Mm -hmm. A step at a time. Yeah, you know. Okay, interesting. Um, what keeps you going? You know, what keeps you hustling? Okay, well, what keeps me going is my dreams. Um, I, I want to be successful, so I, I really have a lot of people looking up to me, both my family, friends and all that, so I, I put in extra work. So I don't let anybody down, because mm. I have a couple of people looking up to me. So that's that's my main motto. Mm. Not drive, not letting anyone down. Mm. Not that I'm living um, by what people say or what they want me to do, but no, I just need to make sure I don't let anybody down. Mm. I just have to be successful. Mm. It keeps me going, keeps me working hard. 
that's whenever I'm in that booth trying to spit that verse into the microphone. I remember everybody that are looking up to me and I just work harder. That sounds real deep. Oh, all right. What would you say are the lessons that you've learned being in this industry? It's not easy making it on your own, financing your own hustle, financing your music, pushing it, all those things. That's, I think that's the greatest challenge that mm. I've faced. In fact, come to think of it, doing, doing everything yourself. It's really hard owning your own business, financing your own business without the support of anybody and making it this far. That's, that's my greatest challenge and being here is one of my greatest accomplishments as well because I made it thus far myself. Mm. I mean, it was a self-made thing. Mm. Although I had a couple of people working to me, I have a team, but it was really my, my work and my dreams to be here that I'm trying to accomplish and I'm doing it. And thanks be to God, it's really working out, you know. Mm. Okay, you must be proud of yourself. I am proud of myself. Yeah. I'm very proud of myself. Mm. So where to from there? The heavens. Mm. That's, that's the limit. I don't know if there's any other place higher than the heavens, but I don't, I'm not aiming for the sky. Mm -hmm. I'm aiming for the heavens. About seventh heaven more than exactly the skies. You know, a couple of people are just wanting to be stars in the skies no i want to be a galaxy wow in the heavens i don't yes. want to be a star yeah <laughs> you know? wow <laughs> <laughs> wow that's, that's, deep right that's there. what i'm working towards now yeah mm -hmm. and what is your motto do you have a motto that keeps you going the motto in life is yes. just keep moving on with the force of a typhoon don't give up just oh. That's that's what I say to myself. Mm. You know, when, when, when music discouraged my pride, it was just don't worry, you're gonna make it. Just keep going mm. with the force of a typhoon. Mm. And it helps. I say it to myself. And you'll keep going with the force of a typhoon. <laughs> and I continue what the I'm force doing. Of a typhoon. Exactly. That hard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what would you like to achieve? You know? With my music. With your, yes. Um, Africa Unite, Africa Unite. bringing yes. Africa together. Nice. I want to work with an artist from every country in Africa, yeah. you know, just trying to spread positive message to the entire Africa mm -hmm. for now. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm trying. That's that's like a two year plan mm -hmm. for CMG and for my music, mm -hmm. working with as many African artists as possible. That's what we're trying to do now, mm -hmm. uniting Africa. That's the main purpose and the main aim of CMG now, mm. this year. Yeah. Interesting. And um, where do you see yourself in five years' time from today? In five years' time, wow. I see myself in the topmost floor of the CMG Towers. Mm. Yeah, the glass house, the pent floor, mm. the, the, the 20th story. It's going to be a 20 story building. That's how far, that's, that's where I see myself in five years' time. Mm. I see myself achieving every necessary hip hop award that um, an African MC is supposed to have in the next five years. That's, that's where I see myself. Mm. So that's career wise? Yeah. Okay. And personally, do you see yourself? You mean marriage? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, in five years time, well, I think so. I, if I meet the right person here from now till the next five years, I might actually settle down, yes. I would like to do that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. I would like to settle down in, in the next five years, within the next five years. Mm. And any projects that you be working on or that you'd like to work on? Um, well, not, not anything that wouldn't have materialized from now till five yeah. years. Oh, okay. But we're working on other artists. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be a phase thing. Mm. So from now till five years, we would have at least two or three artists doing very very well from CMG hmm. that's the that's one of the long-term plans we have though yeah mm -hmm. and where can your fans reach you I'm sure they'd like to know well you can follow me on Twitter it's real Indo R E A L E I N D O real Indo um, you can check out the CMG website www.cmgliveonline.com that's CMG L I V E O N L I N E dot com CMG Live Online. 
and um, you can check out the um, Third Art Studios in Melville, Johannesburg, the CMG Third Art Studios. We have um, a Pro Tools recording studio in Johannesburg, so you could check that out. It's 75 Third Avenue, Melville. So just check us out there as well. CMG. <laughs> CMG, mm -hmm. all the way. <laughs> all right. Well, there you have it, Africa. We have gotten up close and personal with Ingo, and I'm sure you have been inspired. Until then, we'll see you next time. Hey, Chimo. CMG's very own. Indo money box. Let's go. Leave all the boys so that they know about you. Let me come do that, yo. Let me show you how we roll. From a rare to GC, people ask if he leads to Lexus. People text to be on the guest list. It's like I'm living young and reckless. Why are the girls begging that they want the necklace? Hey, I'm so fresh and fresh. It's in the money box, CMG's the crew. They remember 2012 as the year we blew. If you ain't making money, I ain't talking to you, fool. Salary so basic, I said if any of your fans are ready, you'll play this. Yeah. 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 Yeah.